Chris, all of you, another successful entrepreneur. He is the CEO of HKBK Group of Institution. Please put your hands together for CM Fez Muhammad. Good afternoon to you all. Namaskara. Indeed, it's a great pleasure to be on this podium and addressing this august occasion. Karnataka Traders Chamber of Commerce, I must congratulate the men behind it. Initiatives like this requires first and foremost great courage because what you're trying to do is recognize and reward a section of community or section of people or section of businesses which have been overseen, which have been overlooked by many. And you as MSME players are contributing the progress of this country. Very often, it's large corporations and beyond a certain turnover, promoters get recognized. But platforms like this will ensure that your contributions are valued. And in, in post-COVID era, your role is also evolving. I am I'm into business and as well as education, so I have the ability to actually pivot and look at from the both perspective, from the education and creating job scenarios, and on the other hand, being a job empowerer or also providing jobs. We at education institutions, the challenge always sees, or we facing is, how are we have to, how best we can equip our students to be industry ready. And this industry readiness can happen only if industries and academicians collaborate. And if you can bridge this gap, hundreds and thousands of students, at least from my campus, thousands of students pass out on a year basis, graduates. If we are able to bridge this gap, we will be able to provide many more employment opportunities. As, and you would get trained manpower for your businesses. And on the business front, what we always evolve is we have a challenge looking at getting quality manpower. And we find that sustainability and attrition being a major challenge post-COVID. But there again, what we often overlook is as a businessman, are we creating an equitable and a sustainable environment for all our stakeholders? Look at concepts around, look at major big concepts, funded millions and billions of dollars by external FIIs, PEs and VCs, but what is happening today is not sustainable. A famous rideshare app, which we all used to use it, is no more known for its rideshare, but it's known for something else, for providing two-wheelers now. People have forgotten the right share. So this is how business evolved, but what did they do wrong and why they have not been able to sustain is the equitability of all stakeholders. So as business promoters, please keep in mind that all your stakeholders' interest is protected to a maximum extent. Only then, you as businessmen will perform. Only then, you as businessmen will sustain. And this is often, we overlook this. So create an environment amongst our, business, amongst our enterprises that every stakeholder, every stakeholder in our business, whether it's an employee, supplier, vendor, or even our major contractors, if you are able to create any customers, if you are able to create a platform, a business environment which is sustainable, equitable, profitable to all our stakeholders, take it from me, business is here for a long run. There is no shortcuts in business. Gone are the days where we used to make multi, multi percentage or big gains to the EBITDA. That is really important. And we all have to have a keen eye on profitability, but also look at the environment around. Also look at how we can sustain our world and ecosystem around. If we are able to sustain the ecosystem, our future generations can be part of this great society. And I have no doubt our previous speakers also did mention, country like India is only here to prosper. And with talents like you, contributions like you, and we are here to only ensuring that this will progress. We create more opportunities, more uh, services, more products to offer to the world. And India is in the age of reckoning. And no better time and no better phase in our lives 
to be in India and the ecosystem which is supporting startups, entrepreneurship, growth and progress to the country. Government also on one hand is bringing out various schemes, various opportunities, but unless and until we don't have a collaborative approach, none of us can even take a pie out of any of these opportunities or any of these schemes. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, listen to the best practices, listen to the various schemes, options available. We as entrepreneurs have immense pressure from different aspects, whether be it the regulators, whether be it the taxmen, whether be it customers, or we ourselves as employees also. So focus on profitability is important, but not shortcuts. Don't compromise on your principles, be accurate, be, be compliant, we have good rules, we have good regulations in this country, and rule of law still prevails. Don't forget that. Whoever might be today in this country occupying any position, but rule of law still prevails. Don't forget that. Have the might in you, have the motivation in you, have the courage in you to go for reach the skies. I wish you all the best, and future is belongs to the people who dream. Don't stop dreaming. Dream big, and you can conquer the biggest achievements in your life. I thank KTCC organizers for creating a platform like this and ensuring small, medium businesses are recognized. And by recognition, it's only a motivation and continuing to build on what they have been doing. All the best. Thank you once again. That was brilliant. Thank you so much for such a wonderful and inspiring uh, speech. Thank you for joining us, Mossadegh, on time. Brilliant. Uh, Taking back some of your words which you just communicated, uh, there are a lot of opportunities lying, but getting those together is something which is important. There are opportunities from the government and all those things. We need to encash on those. So it's only for that reason that we have KTCC which is being formed, which is going to enter into the grooming of the entrepreneurs also in the near future. So I'm sure we would have your support extended to everyone out here and uh, the entire team as well. Thank you for addressing the gathering. Thank you for giving time and sharing the stage with us. Musadik requests you to acknowledge Sir's presence with a small token of respect. Ladies and gentlemen, an entrepreneur, CM Fez Mohammed, who is the CEO of HKBK Group of Institutions and also different other businesses.